Hi there, today I'd like to shed some light on achieving a balanced palette with Winsor & Newton Professional Oil Colours. I've placed six co-primaries in a circle to show the colours in context. Rather than using temperatures to differentiate between them, I'm going to use secondary hue bias instead. Starting with the yellows, you can see the Winsor Lemon has a green bias, whereas Cadmium Yellow has an orange bias, as does Cadmium Red. Here, the alizarin crimson has a violet bias, and so does the French ultramarine blue. Finally, Windsor blue has a green bias, which leads us back to Windsor lemon. I'm now going to combine the primaries that have the same secondary bias to make vivid and pure mixes. If I wanted, I could create a continuous circle with subtle and pure transitions and no gaps. I'm just going to add some titanium white to this violet in order to bring out the colour for you. This shows how this palette is capable of achieving any mixture I require. The circle shows how the primaries and secondaries relate to each other. Those opposite each other are called complementaries. Now let's mix a green from ultramarine and cadmium yellow. When complementaries are combined, the mixtures tend to grey down. This green is very earthy and demonstrates what happens when there is a partial clash of bias within the mixture. The orange bias has clashed with the blue. I personally find this a more interesting green. So being aware of secondary hue bias allows you to exploit or avoid these clashes. I hope you've found this useful.